Today we're taking a look at one of Brady Shearer's suggestions for engaging church social media posts and making it into a reality. Let's do it. What's happening guys? I'm Sam DeZale and this is SmartDesign.Church where we help churches communicate the timeless gospel in the 21st century. The pros over at Pro Church Tools, Alex and Brady, were talking a little bit about some super engaging social media posts for your church. And I love all these examples that they gave. But one thing I noticed was in the comments, some people were asking, how do you actually make these posts? Well, that's where I would like to help. So let's dive into Adobe After Effects and check it out. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is make our square with our countdown inside of it. So. To make our square, we need to go up to our rectangle up here, and we have a fill and a stroke. I'm gonna hit the fill button, and I'm gonna say no fill. And then I'll go to my stroke, and we'll make that a white color. All right, so now let's draw a nice square here. So if we want this to jump to the center of our composition, all we have to do is go over to our line panel, um, but I'm going to hit these two buttons to center it up in our composition. Now the other thing I notice is that our anchor point is not in the center of this square. So if I hit Y on my keyboard, it's gonna give me the uh, move anchor point tool. If I hold down command on a Mac or, or control, it's gonna jump to the center and click to the middle area here. And I'll just let go. And now if we rotate this around, it's gonna rotate around the center of that square. I'm gonna hit my text tool, just type in 60 for now, and then we'll move this towards the center, scale it up so it kind of fits a little bit. And of course you can change the font and the text style, that's really up to you. Lastly, let's create that timeline look uh, from going to one side to the other over the course of that 60 seconds. So let's go up to a rectangle tool and create another rectangle. We don't want the stroke here, so I'm gonna turn my stroke off, but I'm going to give it a fill. And now let's click and drag. Let's try to get it close, uh, but it's okay if it kind of overlaps the white just a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to move timeline bar under our main square. So let's just animate our main square here. So I'm going to go about a second in time. I'm gonna hit the stopwatch for both of those. That enables the keyframes and enables animation for that property. So at the zero second mark, I'm gonna give it a little bit of rotation and then bring the scale of this all the way down. All right, so now we've animated one of these things. And now if I grab my pick whip, I'm parenting, clicking and dragging over to the main square. You can see that now whatever the main square does now the other layers will follow. So now if we look at this, we can see that the animation is a little clunky, a little robotic looking. So if we click and drag and select all those keyframes and then hit F9, we can see that it just adds a little bit more fluidness to our motion there. And now we really only want to adjust the X axis. We don't want this to get taller. I'm going to unlink the X and the Y because we only want to adjust one of them. I'm going to drop a keyframe at the one minute mark. At the very beginning, I'm going to bring this all the way down to zero. So now over the 60 seconds, this thing is going to grow. And then I'm going to hit Y on my keyboard. That moves the anchor point around if I click and drag it. And then I'm going to snap this over to the left side. So now that's where our anchor point is and that's where it's going to scale from. So if we go into our effects and presets and then search slider controls, drag and drop that on our 60 second timer. So at the beginning, we'll type in 60. And then at the end, we want this to say zero. So I'm gonna open up our drop down arrow next to the 60 seconds, and then I'm gonna alt click on source text. So now if I click and then drag up to my slider controls, and now it jumps to zero. Why does it jump to zero? Because that is what our slider control is telling it to do. But it's not exactly what we want because what it's doing is it's showing us all of the decimal points in between 60 and zero. If you alt click on the stopwatch of the slider control, I'm gonna type math with a capital M dot round parentheses value close parentheses semicolon. And now you'll see that it gets rid of all of the decimal points. Now it's just rounding up to the nearest whole number. So now let's just add the top and the bottom text. And of course you can change this text to be anything you want it to be. So like in Brady's example, he was talking about using this as like a New Year's Eve thing, which is a perfect example of how to use this. But you can say anything you want in this. 
All right, so quickly, let's just add a background. If you wanna make a church intro video, just like Church on the Moves, where they have motion graphics, I'll teach you exactly how to do that by hitting right here. If you want more tutorials, go ahead and hit right here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.